Mmm, ham sandwich. Hey you guys, listen, this, this video that you're getting ready to watch, I didn't mean for it to be this long, but it's really long. It's, it's nearly 30 minutes. Maybe it's over 30 minutes. Um, I was going to put it on my personal channel, but my personal channel does not allow me to do long videos for some reason. So I'm putting it on here. It's all PLA related, but there are no pranks in this video. It's all, it's all like PLA memorabilia that I'm just trying to get rid of. I just, I want you guys to take it from me. And uh, if you're not into PLA, if you don't know about the history and all that crap, then this video is going to be really boring to you. And don't watch it, okay? Don't watch it. You're commanded not to watch. I tried to edit it down. I tried to make it shorter. And this 30-minute video is the best I can do. So uh, if, if you're into all this stuff, I really hope you enjoy it. And I hope you help me get rid of some of this stuff. And if not, I will see you in the next video. Hey, everybody. Today we are going to take a look through some of my personal folders. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get rid of all this stuff. I want you to take it from me. Like, um, you know, buy it. Send me, send me a few bucks for shipping. And I will be really happy to send you a bunch of crap. Um, it's mostly foam losers related things that, that I, I want to get rid of. Because I know that's, you know, the only thing anyone would take. Like, this thing looks horrible. Um, this is actually a... A cassette, and this is the original cassette insert for the original uh, Phone Loser, you know, cassette tape. Volume 1. That doesn't even exist. We never had that. Um, but, you know, it's like before I had Photoshop, we were just pasting crap on paper. If you want this, I, I don't know, like, okay, anything that's like paper like this, just light paper, I'll, I'll ship this for like a dollar. I'm not looking to profit, I'm just looking to get rid of junk. Uh, this looks like the same insert, but it's uh, too big. I mean, it's it's larger, isn't it? I think that's too large to be... Uh, I'm just seeing things. No, that's the exact same size. Has the old phone loser uh, voicemail number on it. Yeah. Um... This is not phone loser stuff. This is uh, dated April 23rd, 1991. It's lyrics to the Pixies. And uh, I don't know, I was probably really depressed <laughs> or something. Wave of mutilation. Yeah, back when I used to cut myself. There's Winter Kills by Yaz. I don't know, if you want this, seriously. I don't want this. I, I'm really, I'm not a nostalgic person. I don't know why I keep all this crap. Uh, these are lyrics to like songs I wrote in grade school. But, no, forget that. Um, I'm just going to go through this folder by folder. I have this big stack of folders here. I'll do it as quick as possible. And I will edit all this stuff. This thing is cool if you're into hacking stuff. This is every apparent... I mean, I guess there could be missing pages. But this is every issue of the Youth International Party Line. Which I think... Didn't Abby Hoffman do this? I, I don't know. I can't remember. Somebody at Freaknik gave this to me and Colleen like 10 years ago. It's dated June 1971. Published monthly. I could be wrong about it, Abby Hoffman, but it turned into tap. And there's just cool stuff in here, but I don't know. It's pointless because like, why would I, why would I need this? It's You know, I'd, I'd prefer to have the PDFs of this, which I think I do have, actually. Uh, this thing would be expensive to ship. I don't know. Like, if you send me ten bucks for this, I'll ship it, and then if there's leftover money, I will refund it to you. But I think ten bucks should cover it, I hope. Because I can't send a book rate, because it's loose papers. They won't let me do that, and I'm too honest to lie to the post office, so... Every issue of the Youth International Party Line slash tap is yours for 10 bucks or less. Okay, I'm going to show you something you absolutely cannot have. This is a police scanner. It's a Uniden Bearcat. It's in horrible shape. Uh, there's no battery in it. Uh, the battery connector has been chopped off because apparently I hooked a power to supply directly to it at one point. Uh, the little charger port is all sunken in, and I've been meaning for years to open this up and fix it. I think it just came unsoldered from the circuit board. 
Uh, anyway, the reason this scanner is cool is because this is the scanner that um, that we, me and Zach harassed Dino Alsman with. So uh, I, I, I told Legend that I'm going to send it to him because he's really into radios and uh, he won a contest last night on the phone show. So he is getting this scanner. That's his prize. A broken scanner that doesn't work that I've been holding on to for years and I haven't been using. Okay, but yeah, you cannot have that. Don't don't try and buy that from me. Uh, this is my... Uh, is this really even PLA stuff? This is a wallet. ISU. That's from uh, when I lived in Indiana. Uh, I was living on the college campus and I was trying to look like a student. That's a temporarily out of service from a payphone that I stuck in there. Uh, you know, a dollar or two. I don't know. You know it would be really cool if you guys just buy something from the PLA store at phonelosers.org slash store and say, also, I would like you to send me, along with this order, free stuff. Uh, these are original business cards from the Phone Losers of America. I always think I get rid of all these. You know, I, I throw them in with uh, orders, PLA orders and stuff, and uh, then I, I, you know, I find more of them somewhere. I, I just have boxes of junk I want to get rid of. You know, I'm, I'm going to die soon, so I just want to be rid of all this crap. Phone Losers of America ID card. You can tell this was made with, with like, DOS paint or something, some sort of DOS-based paint program that, that looks horrible. I don't even know what that logo's from. It's the NSA or FBI or something I got off of the internet in 95. Uh, laminated. Has my picture. It's yours. Oh, anyway, these these business cards. Um, the, these are what uh, I had printed up using stolen money from, from uh, whatever convenience store I robbed back then. And it's got uh, Hotel California, which was a famous party line back in the mid-90s. And I think these other two are voicemails that me and Colleen set up using stolen credit cards. Oh, the middle one's the official PLA voicemail. So that's one I paid for legitimately. And then 503 is a, you know, one of those. But uh, yeah, just one business card per person. Because I think it'd be cool if a lot of people were to get a hold of these. Because I, I think, I always say this, but I think these are the last ones. There's no more after this. There's four. Uh, these are pretty lame. Um, Red Box Chili Pepper and Colleen card. Uh, hold on, let me zoom in. Head janitors, and then I have no idea what these phone numbers are. I think that toll free number is an AT and T line, but Phone Losers of America, PO Box, Albany, Oregon. Uh, you know, it's from the from the '90s, from like '96. I have two of those. I don't want them. All right, this here. This is my work schedule from Union Station uh, Cinema in St. Louis, Missouri. But on the back of it, it's from like 91 or 92. On the back of it is this little chart that shows how rich I'm going to be from doing quarter roll scams, which I don't think was ever written about in the Phone Losers zine, but um, uh, I think it was on my website at some point. Me and Chris Tompkinson drove to Kentucky. Uh, passing off rolls of pennies as rolls of quarters, making like $9 profit at every stop. It's a miracle we never got arrested for that, but yeah, this this is, uh, here, let's see. If we invest 50 cents, money earned, we'll make $10. Minus investment, $9.50. Total profit each, four seventy five. That was like uh, each, me and Chris Tompkinson were going to split the profits. Number of locations to hit, and if we hit uh, 1,000 locations, we would make $4,750, and probably would get arrested like half a dozen times hitting that many locations. Okay, in 1995, uh, I called this gift shop in Roy, New Mexico, just because we thought Roy, New Mexico was the most hilarious city ever, and uh, I ordered a magnet from them which is on my fridge still. You may have seen it in a previous video. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the business card they sent me. And then also, this is the receipt. Uh, and it says, it says like, thank you, we are happy to do mail order. Because she thought it was really weird that I, that I <laughs> sent her cash in the mail to have her 
mail me a, a magnet. And she even sent me change along with this. This blank sheet of notebook paper is yours for one dollar. Casey 95 uh, This is a ruins language of some sort from high school. Uh, that I, I remember what this says. I don't know how to read ruins, but it says Mr. Nice sucks his own dick. Uh, Mr. Nice was our um, uh, uh, you know the dean of boys, dean of students, whatever, and I didn't like him. Uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Dutch. I think I stole those from Union Station. Oh man, this is going to take forever to go through all this. Mental Psychosis Unit. See, this is high school crap. I don't even know why I have this. I'm going to throw this away. Uh, voice phone numbers to SysOps uh, from Bulletin Board Systems. There's an exchange scan in 309 that I apparently didn't complete at all. Uh, looks like I was researching Kevin Mitnick, that's his friend Roscoe. Uh, 212, those are loop lines. Uh, this is, I don't know, just a bunch of random notes. I'll seriously mail this stuff to you. Travel agencies, probably things I was carting. Um, Rerouting codes with a peace sign. Uh, that right there. Wait. That's weird. That was originally written in code, but it's been decoded, and I don't understand why it says what it says. But anyway, there's all these long distance companies, and there are 10 codes back when they were 10 codes and not 10 10 codes. Uh. But this is dumb. I mean, I I'm going to hold on to this stuff long enough for people not to buy it from me. Um, you know, like, uh, seriously, like, all those notes right there, I will send those to you for one dollar. Just to, to ship them. Uh, this is from when I lived in Los Angeles. We were, um, we were doing basically photoshops, just taking pictures, and, but this is old school photoshop. Look at that yellowing tape. Uh, it's it's retarded phone freak song lyrics. I just built a new red box. I'm going to Disneyland. I just carted an IBM. I'm going to Disneyland. I third party build to my dad. I discovered a new access code. Yeah. We're hilarious. This is me and my friend Christine. We're doing this. Uh, that's the GTE logo, but it's made out of people and uh, we put like little bubbles. God, these are horrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Notes! Note paper and it's got the US West logo on the bottom of it. I think, um, I'm sure I took this out of a phone book. Oh look, I took it out of a phone book. I was just collecting clip art, um, you know, for later use. I thought it could come in handy someday, back when we didn't have computers. This is hard to explain, but um, a friend of mine got her phone shut off, and I called the phone company, and I, I convinced them to turn it back on, or I turned it on under a fake name or something. And uh, I sent my friend a letter and tried to make it look like it was an official phone company letter. I think I photocopied this, and then this is the original I kept, and it looked, I don't know, somewhat realistic to her, probably. But uh, it just says, wait, even though you really fucked us over by having hot and horny phone sex at our expense, used other customers' calling cards, accepted roughly 47 collect calls a day from your husband in jail, called Psychic 900 Hotlines, and used our Alliance teleconferencing services, We've decided that since you're such a valued customer here at Illinois Bell, to credit your account for all of the cash you owe us and to reinstate your phone service ASAP. And yeah, I had her phone turned back on. 
Uh, if, if you guys actually want any of this stuff, please be as detailed as possible. Because um, there's so much junk here. Yeah, so these are a bunch of old phone company advertisements. Uh, I was going to frame them. I think um, they came from Spessa. She got them off of eBay and gave me the ones that she didn't use. Um, they're kind of cool. They're all retro. I have all of them in... Um, all right. Okay. Let's see. With AT&T's new iPlan, you can save up to 33% on all your domestic phone calls. I don't know if there's even anything funny in here. It's called Fabricated Bell. Red boxes and stolen MCI codes plan saves you 100% on anyone you call, anytime, in any city, any state, any country, any planet. Not to mention, not to mention the amazing tranquil adrenaline rush that you get from screwing the system. We're your link to a more fucked up future. To get started, just dial 1-800-Fabricate. FB is not FB is not responsible for incarceration resulting from our plan. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't know. It's on drawing paper. I should charge $2 for that because it's colored. You're surrounded. Drop your red box and put your hands in the air. Yeah. It's completely unfinished. There's a bunch of pencil crap in the background. <sighs> I've got old PLA orders in here. Um, I'm not going to give those away because I, I don't need, uh, like, I, I only kept the ones that were really hilarious or, or they drew pictures or whatever because I think they're kind of cool. But then they've got these people's addresses on them, so. Yeah, these are all orders. Phone loser orders. Back, um, before PayPal, basically, uh, people used to mail me checks and money orders and cash and some of them were pretty hilarious I've got some people in here that I know like uh, Rob T. Firefly is in here someplace alright so this one says which one of these guys is Alex and you know they're saying a bunch of retarded things and then I think my red box batteries are getting low I wonder if the party line is back online yet I should yeah, it's me going on and on about Colleen. I, I made this for Colleen, and, you know, I hate her now, so you can you can have that for a dollar. Uh, dear customer, we're sending you this letter to advise you that the long-distance calls we have billed to your account, the amount is $53, excluding taxes. These calls have been investigated by our message analysis center and were determined to be your responsibility. That's when I was um, third party billing to uh, places. And, uh, you know, occasionally they would charge things back. But that's when I lived in Corpus Christi, Texas. That's where the PLA all started. And there are notes here on the bottom. There's the FTP site for the original uh, Phone Losers, um, you know, archive on the internet. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever that we were actually on the internet, because that was such a new and amazing thing. Uh, it's probably passwords on there, I don't know. Print out of an old Phone Loser website. Aha! Look at this. This is some of uh, Richard Cardo's key. The pictures that he thinks my son drew when my son was one year old. And... Brad and his Lido Cactus Launcher. This is like some guy that did this for me. Dustin Dishno. Yeah, it's cool, but no offense, Dustin. I don't want that. Ah, Phone Loser's second cassette tape. And this is the, uh, you know, the, the, the printout that would be printed out and put inside of a cassette tape thing. Yeah, I, I could probably get in trouble for selling this, but I think I will anyway. This is Chris Tompkinson's high school transcript uh, and has all of his grades. I, I pretended to be a college in Texas and I had them fax me uh, Chris Tompkinson's high school, high school transcript just so we could more effectively harass him. And I don't know. I think it's got his social security number on it somewhere. 
And on the back is a book review for Information Warfare, Chaos on the Electronic Superhighway. Yeah, I used to recycle paper. Yep, it's all yours. Phone freaks unite, screw AT&T. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Oh, I kept this because it's from AT&T. Um, I don't remember what they sent to me, but they sent it to Robert E. Allen at my address, my old address in Albany, and I thought it was hilarious because Robert E. Allen is the, you know, he's the, he was the CEO of AT&T in the 90s. Uh, here's an email from someone named Vertigo uh, from 1995. He says, this is urgent. You don't know who I am, but I'm always looking out for BBS pals. Our friend JTR, blah, blah, blah are majorly pissed off. They want ass. So far they've called me only. <laughs> they are investigating your little hacking deals. By the way, nice job on HIV and you're really pissed off Kevin with that stunt. I posted a warning on my board. I suggest you take your PL you make your PLA text harder to access by using that flag thing Wiv has. Hide all your wares. This guy is out for hell. Kevin knows your address and telephone number. You shouldn't put real info on BBSs. And uh, there's a big reply to him where I'm a jerk. And there's a bunch of... Uh, God, what the hell is this? I don't even know. Modem commands of some sort. Uh, there's a write-up incident form from an old job of mine. Okay, here we go. PLA stuff. Cassette tape. Um, you know, this part that goes on the actual cassette tape. Side A and Side B from the Operator Leaving Line album. Uh, I've got all these little things, you know. <laughs> you, you, you really take these from me. Why would I even have these? Um, it looks like these were the originals that I printed out um, at a print shop here in Albany and uh, you know they're the best quality and I use those to make all the copies from you know just color photocopies but this is the official first phone loser tape and it looks a lot nicer than the other one that was half handwritten and half looked like it was from a typewriter and then here's the side A and side B these are these are on sticker paper you could stick these on an actual cassette tape that would be exciting Oh, and this one's not on sticker paper. Uh, black and white for some reason of the exact same tape cover. Operator leaving line. Oh, no, no, no. Give Me Liberty or Give Me Steak is the name of the album. Uh, this is the the transfer sheet that um, from a, a, an original PLA shirt. I tried to make it myself and I failed really bad, but... Uh, you know, ever been hopelessly harassed by a total stranger on the phone day in, day out for an entire year, year straight? You will. And of course, these were all different. Um, you know, it, this didn't all go on the shirt, because that would be crazy. Oh, and it looks like this is the one that was actually used for the shirt that I had printed professionally after I failed at printing myself. Here are the transfer sheets for that same thing, uh, where I tried to make my own. Apparently there was going to be a PLA t-shirt, don't drop that quarter, use a red box instead. Yeah. Phone loser monthly issues. Uh, this is just a bunch of pages from phone loser monthly that never got put together. Poor Stevie, he's lost and he's lost his red box and needs to make a phone call. Can you help Stevie find his red box? It's really hard. I can't do it. Uh, this is from a manager of mine from a movie theater in Indianapolis. He said, remember, we are all just an illegal phone call away. So that's like how much the normal people at my work knew about my phone crap. Uh, here's another one of those first PLA cassette tapes that are all handwritten. Uh, this is the above. Oh yeah, this is just one of those, one of those things where I was uh, 
Yeah, yeah, ordering calling cards to my home, and they're sending collection letters. And this down here stuck to it is a Portland Marriott uh, telephone thing. Um, that's probably the, oh, I'm, yeah, that's the hotel that I kept staying at on uh, stolen credit cards. This says, hacker alert. Someone has tried to hack this BBS. He alerted me by going to the file transfer system first before he did anything else. That's, I think that's from normal Illinois. We were trying to, uh, we were just trying to start crap with everyone. <laughs> and try to start a big hacker scare. And it worked. Uh, this is one of the PLA GIFs, GIFs, whatever, of uh, a bunch of random high phone bills. More Phone Loser webpage printouts. Our website looked even more awful in the 90s than it does today. I don't remember this layout at all. That looks horrible. I think that's it. Uh, oh, there's this. This is a, a nice leather notebook thing. Um, that's one of the original Phone Loser's yellow stickers. And, um, you know, like before I used electronic organizers and stuff. See, there's another, there's the green PLA sticker that's falling off. There's nothing in it really. There's some small personal notes. Uh, I probably will tear them out because they might have personal stuff on them. But if you want a nice little leather organizer, then uh, I don't know. This I think I could ship this. Eh, it's kind of heavy. Uh, send me 10 bucks if you want this leather organizer. I will only charge you for shipping. I will refund whatever it doesn't cost to, to ship it for shipping and a box. I don't think it'll be more than 10 bucks, but yeah, that sticker's on there pretty good. So it's kind of an official phone loser notebook thing. Yep. Now, now I've got all this crap laying all over my desk. Please, 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 somebody take this all off my hands. I don't need any of it. I'm just going to throw it in the trash. Seriously, it's going in the trash. Or I'm going to give it away with uh, phone loser orders. But I'd rather give it to people that actually want it. So, take it. Take it off my hands. As long as I'm getting rid of PLA stuff, I really, like, I'm never, ever, ever going to wear this hat. This PLA hat. I used to wear it a lot in the 90s, but really, come on, I don't need this. Uh, it's it's a nice quality hat, you know, it's a PLA sewn into there. On the back it says phonelosers.org, um, which is in a font that's really hard to read. Uh, I don't know, we were just in some mall in San Antonio, and like, oh, let's make a PLA hat. and. I made a PLA hat, and it's in fairly good shape. Uh, I have head lice really bad, so um, you know you're probably going to have medical issues if you buy this. But it's yours. Uh, how about like six bucks or something? I think that'll cover shipping. PLA hat, and a 2600 hat, just because this thing is. If you have a big head, you don't want it. It's it never fit my head too good. Um, I just have a big head. 2600 hat, uh, $6 also, and it's yours. You can have them both for $12, or no, 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 I'll give you a discount, $11 for a PLA hat and a 2600 hat. Bird is the word.